I have more clothes to show you. This is from Old Navy and I think I'm gonna keep it. This is really pretty. It's just a simple dress, but I love the color. This dress was $34.99. It's really comfortable. I think you could wear this with a pair of tights and some long boots. I've gotta figure out my shoe situation. I say this in every video. Does it look okay without a belt? I think that's the whole point, is to have it without a belt. I like it. I like that. Now I need a bag. I completely forgot, I actually did buy shoes. Look at this. It is totally up my alley. I paid $63.98 Canadian dollars. I would wear this with everything. I don't care. I don't care if I have jeans on. I want to sparkle. It's nice and flexible, so you can have lots of room. And if you don't like that cross body, you could do like this, or you could hold it like this. Let me know, do you like it with the belt or without the belt? I have a really hard foot to fit. That's hard to say. I had bunion surgery on both feet, both like outer and inner, and you know, I've always had really wide feet. And I'm a nine and a half, which is really hard. Not everybody has nine and a half. A 10 is too big. A nine is too small. I got these from Steve Madden and I actually put an insole in here because these are leather and they're gonna stretch. The nine was just a little too snug so I didn't wanna risk it. But I know they're gonna stretch out a little bit but they're ballet slippers. Look, I love them. They're so comfortable. I got another pair of shoes too, I'll show you. Maybe I should show you a, a different outfit first, hold on. Okay, I went to the Banana Republic store again, the factory outlet. We have one local to us, so it's really nice to be able to go there. And I got these. I already own a pair of these in white, and I like them so much, they're literally like wearing pajamas, and the linen is really good quality. And I love this color. I don't wear the white as often because I'm afraid to get them dirty, but with this color, I'm not afraid at all. I got this top as well, and it's really nice and light. I'm not sure if you can see how nice and light that is. I got a medium. And I'm not sure, I feel like I actually could have used a small, which is not like me at all. I'm normally a medium and I sometimes like a large. Banana Republic sizes run a little big. Oh, that's pretty. Honestly, it's as light as air. And I love this color. If I could own everything in this color and black, I would be happy. I can't remember how much I paid for this one. I will leave a link in my like to know it. I think actually this top might work now that it's tucked in. Huh. Maybe I'm keeping this too. It's a little saggy here. I feel like if this were just a little more snug, then you wouldn't have to worry about, or I wouldn't have to worry about my bra showing. Here's my wardrobe for next summer. I love buying things on sale this time of year so that I have it for next summer. Like linen doesn't go out of style. To me, this is a classic look that's gonna last forever. Yeah, but I think a small is better. Oh, what was I thinking? I was trying to be funky and I knew I was going to the Barbie movie and I thought this would be kind of cute. It's not for me though. I'm not a print kind of girl, or is it? I don't know, definitely not. Like, look, what do you do? It is kind of cute. Oh, I forgot to show you. This came in too late. I was waiting for this. I got right into the theme of it. Now I have to go see the movie again. I wanna go with my sister-in-law. She's my ex-sister-in-law, but I lost her number. Well, this is nice and soft. This is similar to the one I tried on last week that was in the dark kind of dark gray denim. <laughs> I don't know. I actually kind of like the jacket. You guys have to let me know. I don't normally wear this color because I am a ginger. I feel like I got a lot of colors happening between my freckles, my pale skin, my ginger hair, and the redness in my skin. Adding another color like this kind of makes me feel very busy. Let's decide on this top first. I can't see me wearing it. I do like it though. I love the art of it. Like I could see my daughters wearing this. Okay, I was getting really funky. This is cool. Oh my gosh, this will go with the purse I just got. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, I couldn't have planned that better if I had tried. Okay, so this is from Urban Outfitters too. And I saw it, and it's completely my style. I love anything that sparkles. Is this crazy? I have to keep the skirt. I have to. Just to show you, this has a slip right here, so you can't see through it, but this is sheer. Can you see that it's sheer? Yeah, you can see that it's sheer. It is so pretty. Oh my God. I feel like I could be on stage. I think this outfit requires silver earrings. I have sparkly earrings too, they would be really nice. 
I see people mix funky and fancy all the time. And I love that. Hair up, hair down, who knows? I need a haircut. Mm. Or I got these. These are comfortable. What do we think of these? I don't know, I need a stylist. I think I'm doing pretty good though, but a little help would be nice. You guys are really nice to help me actually. I always appreciate your comments and your advice. I have to keep this. I don't think I'll ever wear this, but it's really cool. My daughter saw this and she said, oh, big Paramore fan. And actually I love Paramore. I just realized I don't know who Paramore is. <laughs> I thought it was Evanescence. Who am I wearing? Please. Nope, I don't know who they are. That's hilarious. How embarrassing. This is a size medium. So if you're looking for a baggy oversized sweatshirt that's dark gray with a band that you don't know who they are, I really like it and I already took the tag off and I'm keeping it. Now I have to listen to Paramore. I do know who this is though. I haven't tried this one on yet actually. I don't know if green is my color. Reality is I live in sweatshirts. I work from home and I like them to be loose. I need jeans. I've always wanted a Rolling Stones top, but I didn't like how bold the mouth was compared to the rest of the shirts. This, I feel like kind of mutes it out a little bit. Like it still gets the point across, but it's not in your face tongue. Again, this is from Urban Outfitters. It's the first time I've ever ordered from there. Do I need it? Does it look good on my skin tone? That's what I need to know from you. I kind of think it's okay, actually. Apparently, I was in a cozy mood. Oh, you know why I bought this? Because I love the color. I was shopping at the outlet store again, and I saw this color. I don't have anything like it at all. My mom loves this color. This is from American Eagle. One of my favorite videos I did was with this color eyeshadow on, and I got so many compliments on it. So I thought if this color eyeshadow looks good on me, then this must look good on me. I do think this was on sale. Out of the sweatshirts I tried on, this is the less expensive out of all of them. American Eagle has good prices. I don't know, I feel like, I feel like I'm not gonna say anything because when I look back at it, I always change my opinion. I got this last year at Zara. Zara, Zara, some people give me trouble for the way I say it. Guys, I'm Canadian. We say things differently. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. If it will, I don't know, how do you do this? Yeah, I'm gonna need help. I should have done this with my daughter. Does it come undone? Yeah, okay. No, I feel like it goes this, yeah, it goes this way. I can do it up. Took me a second. Oh, no, I need to be a little bit smaller. Got a medium, did I? Oh, what size is this? Oh, this is a size eight. Oh, I should have known better. Supposed to go under? I'm so confused. Like if you tuck it in, would that be a style? I just thought it was kind of interesting. Is anyone like me where you buy clothes and you're so scared to wear them because you don't want to ruin them, you've spent so much money on it, and then literally you don't wear them until next season because you're trying to keep them good? That's me. This top was purchased last year. I didn't wear it last year at all. This is the last one. Yeah, I got this from Old Navy. Hey, that's cute. Let's try the belt. See, now that makes more sense with this color. And this style, I think I need to put my hair up. Whew, hot stuff. I cut my bangs and I cut them too short. What do we think? I need a necklace. I love dresses. They're so easy. I don't have to think about what goes with what. It's comfortable. The belt looks good. <laughs> it's important that I wear this belt. I kind of want to put some gold on. With blue, I normally wear silver, but this has gold. I got these at Target a long time ago. Actually, I got them when I went on the cruise with all the TikTok girls. Nothing too shiny, if I can find the hole. All right, am I sending anything back? My bank account's gonna hate me. Yes, I'm sending this back. I'm keeping that sparkly skirt. I don't know about this. I think that's it. My mind, you have to forgive me. My mother-in-law is not feeling well, so she's on my mind. My son is in basic training. He's been on my mind. My daughter in Brooklyn, she's on my mind. So fashion and videos have not been happening as much. I easily lose my train of thought and easily become disorganized, but this week for sure has been uh, a little bit more so than normal. Anyway, I wanted to show you these shoes. I love these. I did try them on and they were stuffed in my closet to get them out of the way for a book club. These are Franco Sar Sorta, Sarta? 
I ordered them from Amazon. I wanted something with a pop of color and this is perfect. They're so comfortable though, I think I'm gonna order a black pair. Now I need a yellow purse. Look at, they have a nice little detail on the heel. I'm not sure if they're leather. I'll leave the information. Actually, I'll leave the link in my description box for you. By the way, guys, if you use my links, it really helps me. I do get a small commission and that helps me so much. Um, I love how Jen Loves Reviews says it. She said it doesn't cost you anything, but it helps me. But no pressure ever. What are these shoes with a sparkly dress and something with yellow on top? I just realized I have some more clothes, but I am so hot. So I'm gonna get off of here now and I will make another video, probably in shorts, I'm not sure. I didn't mean to have this YouTube video up like this. It just happened that way, but I did finally get my camera working. I just don't have my audio working. So I filmed a whole YouTube video yesterday. I went to edit and it's spiking through the roof. It's so distorted because the mic was up too loud. I need technical help. I know it's a little bit annoying watching them on this vertical screen if you're watching from a computer. Yeah, I had to do what I had to do. For reference, I am a size 10 or size 8. I'm a mature woman, 51 years old, so things are sagging in areas that, you know, weren't sagging before. I was a 36D and I think I have gone down a little bit. Waist is 30. I lost a bit of weight. In the wintertime, I always gain it. I hope I don't, but whatever. It's the way it goes and my hips are 40 inches. So I hope that helps give you a visual of what will maybe fit on you. When you engage with your likes and comments and shares, it helps my video be seen by other women. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will have another video coming up soon of my Sephora haul, and let me know what you guys wanna see next, and let me know if this helps you. I love to get to know you guys. Bye.